Let's have a look at the Neve 33609 compressor. This is a stereo dual mono compressor with separate limiter and compression sections. Derived from the original Neve 2254 compressor, the 33609 stereo bus compressor utilizes what's called a bridged diode gain reduction circuit and many custom transformers, which gives it its musical character. A Universal Audio is the only software company in conjunction with Neve England to recreate the 33609 on the software platform. This compressor is a two-channel device capable of running in stereo or dual mono. When you click on dual mono, compressor 1 works independently from compressor 2. Basically, compressor 1 affects the left side and compressor 2 affects the right side. However, when you have the stereo link in, then any signal coming in from channel 1 or channel 2 is going to trigger the compressor. This goes the same with limit 1 and limit 2. The limiter can be enabled with a switch called limit in. When this is in the down position, then the limiter is on. And the limiter threshold determines how much limiting will occur. You have a range from plus 4 dB to plus 15 dB with half a dB increments. The recovery is the release time, the time it takes for the limiter to stop processing the signal after it drops below the threshold value. And the available values are in milliseconds, so you have 50, 100, 200, 800, and then you have two program dependent settings, A1 and A2. The value for A1 can be as fast as 40 milliseconds, but after a sustained period of high signal level, the period is 1500 milliseconds, or 1.5 seconds. And the value for A2 can be as fast as 150 milliseconds, but after a sustained period of high signal level, the period is 3 seconds. Then you have the option to have a fast attack or a slow attack. Now the key thing to understand is that the limiter happens after the gain makeup, which is right here. So really, you would be adjusting your compressor first, and then adjust the high makeup, which would send the signal to the limiter. Lastly, you have the output gain, which allows you to adjust the overall loudness of the compressor. Both Compress 1 and Compress 2, which are independent channels, can be linked. So you have Threshold Control, Recovery Mode, Gain, and Ratio. And we'll listen to these in a minute. However, if you want them to be in mono, you can switch mono, unlink, and now they work as two independent compressor channels. Compress 1 for the left channel, and Compress 2 for the right channel. Lastly, you have the headroom control. Would you have a headroom switch between 22, 18, and 14? And you can use a headroom switch where high amounts of gain reduction are not desired. For example, switching this to 22 is ideal for individual track inserts, where maximum gain reduction is desired. If you're using it on buses, they recommend to use 18, and if you're using it for mastering, at 14. And what this basically adjusts is the amount of headroom. But keep in mind that there are no hard and fast rules. Universal Audio simply recommends this as a guideline. However, since you're working in the digital audio workstation, you're going to have to adjust this based on the track's input. Lastly, you can turn the plugin on or off with this big power switch. And by turning it off, then you're not using any DSP. But if the switch is red, then the plugin is active. There's also a SE version as there is with the other Neve plugins, but with significant less DSP usage. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one.